we measure all the fish and we see how big they are. For striped bass, which is what we're mainly targeting, we will take scales from them so we can age them, see how old they are. We'll weigh them to see how heavy they are. If they're big enough, we will tag them. And those tags tell us where they go, where they're migrating to. Uh, and we also are able to calculate uh, survival rates from that data. Striped bass primarily live out in salt water. Um, they migrate into fresh water to spawn. One of the main areas that they spawn is on the Hudson River in New York. A few weeks after spawning, juvenile fish will make their way down river and they will come into Long Island Sound and use these coastal bays as nursery areas. Due to the proximity of Manhasset Bay to the Hudson River, this is one of the first bays that these young fish will encounter, so it serves as an important nursery ground for them. That's why it's important for us to monitor it from year to year to see how successful striped bass spawning was. Our survey starts in May and it runs through the end of October and every other week we're out here seining at select stations in the western part of the sound here. I love being out here on the water. Um, grew up as a kid on the South Shore, just always interested in the ocean and the life that lived in it, and I'm happy working with the DEC right now. I've always wanted to be part of the management side of uh, fisheries, and uh, this is the stepping off point for me. I grew up on the Great South Bay, fishing, surfing often, so being an avid fisherman and waterman, you know, I like being on the conservation and, you know, recreational side of it, and to witness firsthand what's going on, to have a role in the conservation efforts, it just backs up my whole, you know, my whole history of being on the water. When we get fish back on the boat, we take measurements of them. So right now they're measuring up a bunch of bluefish. 161. 189. Bunker. 50. Bunker, 64. 50. 56. That's it. Three, three silver side, six pilly fish. You know, it's great to be out on the water. If I'm not working, I'm usually on the water myself. I'm an avid fly fisherman. It's really awesome to be out in, out in you know, the field. The DEC's role is to conserve, improve, and protect the environment and resources of the state. As you can imagine, that's quite a large role to have. One of the things I want people to know is that public participation is key to the success of the DEC, whether it be commenting on a proposed regulation, letting us know when you see something out of the ordinary. It's really a collaborative effort between us all to make the environment and the state a better place. North Hempstead is fortunate to have the Department of Environmental Conservation keeping a close watch on the health of our local fish population in Little Neck Bay, Manhasset Bay, and Hempstead Harbor. Their research is critical to helping the town monitor the quality of our waterways and our marine life. Fishing is important to the town's economic health, as well as an important form of recreation for our residents. We thank them for their efforts. Together, we can keep North Hempstead clean, vital, and full of life.